Well, let's summarize chapter 17 from Gene to Protein. DNA controls metabolism by directing cells to make specific enzymes and other proteins via the process of gene expression. Transcription is the synthesis of RNA complementary to a template strand of DNA. Translation is the synthesis of a polypeptide whose amino acid sequence is specified by the nucleotide sequence in mRNA. Transcription is a transfer of information from nucleic acids to nucleic acids. Translation is a transfer of information from nucleic acids to amino acids, which is a change of macromolecules. Genetic information is encoded as, sequ as a sequence of non-overlapping nucleotide triplets and codons. RNA polymerase links together RNA nucleotides complementary to a DNA template strand. This process follows the same base pairing rules as DNA replication, except that in RNA, uracil substitutes for thymine. The three stages of transcription are initiation, elongation, and termination. Before leaving the nucleus, eukaryotic mRNA molecules undergo RNA processing, including RNA splicing, addition of a 5' cap, addition of a poly A tail. A cell translates an mRNA message into a protein using tRNAs and ribosomes. Ribosomes are composed of rRNA and protein. Ribosomes coordinate the three stages of translation, initiation, elongation, and termination. Formation of peptide bonds between amino acids is catalyzed by rRNA as tRNAs move through the A and P sites and exit through the E site. After translation, modifications to proteins can affect their three-dimensional shape. Small-scale mutations include nucleotide pair substitutions, also known as point mutations. Nucleotide pair substitutions can cause missense or nonsense mutations. Nucleo pa nucleotide pair insertions or deletions may produce frame shift mutations. Spontaneous mutations can occur during DNA replication, recombination, or repair. Chemical and physical mutagens can cause DNA damage that can alter genes. There are some differences in gene expression among bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes, mainly due to the presence or absence of a nucleus. A gene is a region of DNA whose final functional product is either a polypeptide or an RNA molecule. So let's go over the objectives for this chapter. Be able to describe the contributions made by Garrod, Beetle, and Totem to our understanding of the relationship between genes and enzymes. Be able to briefly explain how information flows from gene to protein. That's the central dogma, by the way. Be able to compare transcription and translation in bacteria and eukaryotes. Explain what it means to say that the genetic code is redundant and unambiguous. Include the following terms in a description of transcription. mRNA, RNA polymerase, the promoter, the terminator, the transcription unit, initiation, elongation, termination, and introns. Include the following terms in a description of translation. tRNA, wobble, ribosomes, initiation, elongation, and termination. Uh, this wraps up this chapter. Make sure to come with questions and I would be happy to answer them.